So I make apps with my students. But what's most important is not their coding ability, but their ability to make meaningful connections with other people and to make a difference in their community. One of my students designed an app for our Winter Carnival, which is a major fundraiser for the school. There are 30,000 people who attend over the course of two days and very few parking places. So my students work together to learn Xcode, which is Apple's free development environment, and they learned Objective-C in order to make an interactive map that sends out push notifications whenever an on-campus parking place is available. And there were nearly 2,000 downloads over the two-day period and then zero downloads from the third day on, except for some guy in Turkey. Another one of my students made an app for a popular business down the street that serves food and t-shirts. And he decided to make a complete app that allows you to order from an online menu of food and that sends a push notification to the business so that they can have the food ready and waiting for you curbside. He solved lots of difficult technical problems and he actually got everything working properly. The only problem was the business doesn't offer a full menu. They specialize in shave ice, which is kind of like a snow cone. And it really doesn't do well with curbside pickup where you can take 10 minutes or more waiting in a hot parking lot with a melting snow cone. So he actually didn't really connect with the business and didn't do a lot of background research before he dove into doing the app, which was technically brilliant, but unworkable in practice. Now, on the other hand, some of my other students who are teenage athletes, they actually worked with a local physical therapist with popular rehabilitative exercises and then a video that shows how to perform each one. And I was actually really proud of these two teenage boys who were so professional about, uh, they decided they needed to get a model. They were so sensitive and professional about dealing with her and directing her and making sure she was comfortable. Um, it was all done in preparation for actually coding the app, which they then finished and then put up on the store. But I think a lot of the valuable learning happened before they even sat down to code. Another one of my students worked with a parent to create an app for autistic kids to learn how to count. And she developed it for her kid, but now schools across the country are using it. So teachers, parents, therapists, all sorts of people who work with kids all across the autism spectrum uh, have downloaded the app and, and they're using it now. And what's really neat is that this app would never have been made without the connection between a parent who knew nothing about app development and my student who knew nothing about autism, and now they each know a whole lot more. Another one of my kids worked with a local psychologist who works with children of divorced parents. And the app is made for parents and children to go through together. And the app provided lots of ways for children to communicate their feelings through artwork. And the work became much more than a simple school project. It actually became an opportunity for this student to create an app that would help other children of divorce. You know, in the end, what matters most are the connections that my kids make and the listening to others that enables them to create apps that are useful and that serve other people. Many of my kids learn more enduring lessons beyond the mechanics of actually coding something, making connections with other people to find ways for their coding skills to make a difference in the world is the most valuable learning of all.